everybody, my name is Jordan Sharon. I am the mama of two twin boys, Cole and Hayden. They are five and a half months old and amazing. I'm gonna show you the stroller that I use for them and all you singleton parents, don't tune out just yet because I will go over how it is dual and works for both moms of two kids and moms of one kid. I absolutely love it. And I wanted a jogger, so this is what this is. It's called the City Select, and I'll go ahead and show you how it works. This is the stroller. Uh, so we'll start off by the locking system. It's right here, and you just pull up on this little gray part and go like that to unlock it, and then there it goes. And then just pull up on it, and the brakes are on. There is the City Select Lux, and I was only told two differences between them. One was the brake. Instead of it being here on the Lux, it's up here. So it's easier to grab, which I don't find this is terrible. It also has a different locking system. So when you fold the stroller up, which I'll show you uh, towards the end of the video, and I'll show you how it gets in my car, but you fold it up here. And when you do that, you have to automatically lock it, but I never lock it, so that didn't really apply to me, because it stays closed on its own in the car. This is our dog Moses, coming to join us. I think he thinks he's going for W-A-L-K. Um, the Lux is like $100 more, I just didn't find it worth it, and honestly I don't miss those two things that I was told the differences are. That's the locking, and then to put the car seats on, there are these little pieces, and there's different settings. So you have the top part, the middle part, and the bottom part. And this is an add-on, so I had to buy this extra adapter. And you take it off by pushing in this button, and it comes off like that. And then there's another piece, I think it's in our car. We never use it because we never really take this off but it covers here and then you just put it back in and when you put the stroller together it's awesome because they label everything so well so it has an, a little L here and L here so you know it goes on the left side like when you're facing it and then they also have it here so there's an L there so you know that the left goes on the left and you can move these as well they come out so easily Take a look, you just push in this little gray piece and it slides out and then you put it back in and it just snaps. So I keep it here for two kids, upper and the lower. And then if you have one kid, you wouldn't have the bottom and you can just put it in the middle for one kid and it's a, it's actually, it's a stroller for one child. Which is great because if you have one kid and you're thinking about having another child, you can add on an extra uh, car seat without having to get a whole new stroller. This also, it came with the seats for when the kids get bigger. You had to buy the, the car seat separately. With the car seats, they only face towards you, so both of them will face towards you. With the other ones, they can face out, you can have them facing towards you, you can have one out, one in, so it's great you have different options on how you want to do it. <coughs> I'll show you how these go on. It's very easy. So, where this is, it says City Go. You place that over where those pieces are that I just showed you on either side, and it just snaps in like that. So easy. Normally I do the bottom one first, but it doesn't really matter. And then just like that. And it's locked in. And then to take them off, I'll turn this for you to show you that there is back here another little button thing. And so you pull that in, or push it in I guess, and lift it off. And there you have it. And look how smooth that turns. I <laughs> just love it. Okay, um, 
One thing I was really worried about in having twins is going grocery store shopping. I was like, both car seats will not be able to fit in a shopping cart. Uh, neither of the kids can sit in the seat, so I can't have one kid sitting in the seat, one in the cart. So I was just like, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. This has this at the bottom, a little um, thing to put really anything, like your keys, whatever, you know, wipes, diapers. I love it for going grocery store shopping. Um, it can hold a ton of stuff, trust me. I have put plenty in there, which is great. So I don't even use a cart. And then um, if I get bigger stuff, like their diapers or their paper towels, I'll get those at the end. And what I do is I usually just put them on here and then walk to the front. Or, you know, just get my husband to pick them up on his way home or order them online. Plenty of options. But, trust me, I have used this a lot for grocery shopping and it works so well. And then, another thing I'm going to show you. Getting stocking in the background. There is this. You have to buy it separately. It doesn't come with it. And another thing you can get is um, the trays for the kids. They don't need them yet, but eventually... Uh, you can get the thing so they can put uh, their bottles on or whatever, or some toys. So it just snaps on and off like this. Okay, so this is it. Um, it opens up and closes. I put my phone in here. My headphones just come out of there when I'm running or walking or whatever. It also fits a whole lot more in there, which is awesome. There's plenty of room. It also has this little zipper part. I put cards in there so when we go to Target there is a Starbucks in there so I like to treat myself. Um, then there's these two extra little spots. Not sure what they're for but you know something extra. Same with this one out front. I don't know what you put in there but I'm sure you can find something. Then there's the cup holder spot on this side. And I actually put cups in this side too which works perfectly or my keys. So there's lots of space in here. I love it. It's awesome. Totally recommend it. <laughs> I'm going to show you the car seat up close. To move these back, you just push in these little green buttons. There's one on each side. And then just move it back. And it goes pretty far back, actually. It goes all the way to the ground. And then this just, you know, push it behind. And it comes forward. Now to strap your kids in, put them in here, put this over their shoulders, and then you're going to clip this in, and then there's these at the bottom, so stick it in, one on this side, one on this side, their legs come out here, and then on the car seat down here, you push this in to tighten, so push it in and then pull, and your hands can go in there. And it's tight and this can move up and down this little piece here and then to loosen it to take them out just push in there again and then pull on the straps pretty easy and then unclip it on the top and bottom my kids spit up so much so I love how easy it is to clean you just it's Velcro, so you can take these off and toss, toss them in the washer. It also is great because if your kids don't want the straps on, then, you know, you can take it off fairly easy. Down here, this part, it just goes over the buckle. And then the bottom part, so there's two little slits. And the part that they sit on, it just goes just pulls right off and then over that. Super easy, which is great as a parent. You don't want to spend time messing with this to get it cleaned and all that stuff. And then it's actually super easy to get back on. Just same as how it came off. <laughs> and like that. 
So now I'm going to go, I'll go outside and show you guys how I get the stroller in the car. So how it folds up and how easy it is to put in and take out. And then also the car seats, how they snap into the car. I won't show you how the bases work just because they're kind of a pain and I really don't want to take them out of the car seat and put them back in. But I can show you like a general idea of how they work. And... Part of it is just because like loosening it is a little tough, which honestly is great because I don't want it to come loose while my kids are in the car seat. So that's the only annoying thing about uh, this thing, but really that's probably the best thing to be annoyed about is that the straps don't loosen easily. So let's go on outside. Okay, so to fold it up, <coughs> there's these on either side and it says fold. It tells you where it is. You just pull up on them and it folds like that and then put it in your car. And I like to have it so that the um, handlebars of the stroller are on the bottom right here towards this. So when I pull it out, it hooks on this and then I pull it out like this and it unfolds on its own. And that's why I don't like to lock it. It just makes it so much easier. All right, guys, so there you have it. Pretty simple. I absolutely love this stroller. Please comment below if you have any further questions about the stroller, the car seat, or the base, which I did not go over. I will respond. Also, comment below if you want me to make videos on anything specifically, if you want to know more about me. Subscribe below and follow me on Instagram at Sharon Mama. S-C-H-E-R-E-N-M-A-M-A -M -A, and I hope you guys found this video very helpful.